What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So on today's vlog, we're gonna be doing a long layered haircut. I got a live model, so I think you guys will enjoy that. I'm also gonna show you guys the style at the end. Long layered haircut is a pretty common thing requested in the salon, so hopefully I can make it fun for you guys, show you guys a few tips. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe right now so you stay notified when I come out with new videos because we're coming out with videos all the time. Let's get started with the step-by-step, -step. here we go. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prep the hair with marula oil. This is a rare oil styling perfecting serum. Basically what it's gonna do is smooth the hair, control it, and add a lot of shine to the finished style. The reason I put it in before the cut and I brush it through with my Ergo paddle brush is because I want to fully saturate the hair with the product. So um, you only get the benefit from the product if it touches every bit of hair. So apply the product and then go through with a nice flat paddle brush, brush it through, and then I do my sectioning. My sectioning is four quadrants, so I wanna keep this nice and basic. And then what I'm gonna do is go through and cut my bold baseline at the beginning. So I go through, decide the length. Crystal, like most of my long hair guests in the salon, doesn't wanna lose a lot of length. So what I do is I comb the hair straight down and I look for that weak point in the hair where the density gets a little smaller. That tells me that's where the damage is or where the hair is getting weaker. So that's where I'll cut my line to get a nice strong line and keep her hair nice and healthy. So now we're gonna move into the elevation point of the cut. Key thing here is to use that previously cut section uh, at the nape as your guideline. So when you elevate the hair, you'll see that nape part fall out. That's where you start cutting. That's gonna bring in that layering pattern. Then I'm gonna work on a pinwheel or pie shaped sections off of that diagonal forward, um, working about half an inch to an inch based on the density um, around her head shape. So bringing it back to the previous. So I'm following the head shape around, creating those more rounded layers. Um, and then the other key thing you wanna focus on is how much you're elevating the hair. So two things, you wanna work on where your over direction is to keep consistency in your layers. So make sure that every single time you're consistently bringing it back just that half an inch to the guide. And then also, making sure that that elevation is where you want it to be. A lot of people cut long layers and it ends up being super heavy around the top portion of the layering. Uh, and the reason for that is it's all because of the elevation. So I go through, I don't mind having a little bit of weight, but I don't want anything really below 45 degrees. So if you look at where the hair would be coming straight off her head in the crown uh, area in that very center part of her head, that's at about 45 degrees, so I get a nice little graduation, a buildup of weight for that layering. It's going to look really nice when we go through and style it. Now, I want to create more of a rounded feel in the front, but more extreme over direction. So we're going to create a face frame and also layers in the side of the head. So I start off my sectioning. I go diagonal forward with my partings, and I pull the hair across her forehead, and then I do a slide cutting technique with the DB20 scissor, and I glide the scissor through. So a lot of you guys would slide this right in front of her face. Uh, what that does is it builds up too much weight. I'm elevating the hair and over directing it. So because I'm doing that elevation, I'm gonna take out more weight. So it's gonna be nice and light. Uh, big mistakes that happen, I think, in long layered or face frame haircuts is the fact that we create too much weight and then the guest feels heavy. Uh, new technique we're gonna throw in right here. See how I'm flipping that scissor upside down? The way that you do that is you just kind of hold it up in front of you and then drop the scissor forward and put your thumb in the other direction. And that just allows you to have more comfort when slide cutting. You can do it the same way that I did on the other side, but I like to switch it up just to give myself a little more comfort. So there you go. That's going to give her that center parting. Um, nice layers. You can see them working through there. One thing you really want to, to be aware of is the face shape. So the way face shape kind of plays a role in a face frame or bangs or anything like that is you don't want to make somebody's face look too short. So if she had too long layers in the front, it would shrink her face a little bit and it wouldn't match up right. So I kept those layers starting a little bit more below, um, right? Just below the chin. Um, that kind of brings the hair back up into her face. You can see the straight version of the cut. And then I go through, and now when I put an iron on it, it's gonna elevate them even more. So I don't want them to be too short so you could still wrap them around, but I didn't want them to be too long because then it would there would be too much separation between the layers uh, at the bottom of the hair and where her chin starts. So just keeping everything nice proportioned. 
So I go through, I'm using uh, neuro styling products and also this iron from Paul Mitchell. It's a wand iron. It's got interchangeable uh, attachments to it. So I really dig that. I'm using the one inch attachment on the wand and then finishing up with a rare oil spray from Marula. So you can see that little buildup of weight with the layers, the face frame. Hope you guys like it. Let me know. All right, guys, and like always, if you liked this haircut and this video, then hit that like button. Share this video with all of your hairdresser friends. I'd love to have them following this vlog as well. And remember, go over to freesaloneducation.com. You can purchase scissors, combs, clips, everything you need as a professional hairstylist. You can get it on there. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching the video and the support. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.